The two best programs in the Mountain West Conference in recent years get together tonight, the final day of the regular season for Boise State, visiting number 21, San Diego State. We're at the Ajas Arena, where the Montezuma Mesa is rocking already. Student section's ready to go. A whiteout, senior night, and big-time stakes here in the Mountain West Conference. You'll look at where these teams are compared to some of the best in the league. San Diego State right now flirting with that line because the top five seeds in the Mountain West get a double buy in next week's Mountain West Tournament for Boise State. Just a game out of first place. And if Boise can get a win today and Utah State were to lose tomorrow, well, chaos could ensue in this conference. And you know what? That would be fitting because that's what this entire league has been all season long. It's been incredibly exciting all year. My name is Trent Rush alongside Terrence Oglesby. And Terrence, look at this matchup tonight. This is a fun one. Two really, really good teams, good rivals. And it seems like every time they get together, really good games. Well, both teams scout extremely well. They know what each other do, and at the best part of the year, in March, we have two terrific ball teams. I'm excited about this one. We have first team all-conference type of players on the floor today on top of really good defensive teams. It's going to be a great matchup in front of an electric atmosphere. It's going to be great. And who says we have to wait for the madness? The madness is here. It's at Viejas Arena right now. And looking at some of the key players in this game, let's start first with Jaden Ledee for San Diego State, a National Player of the Year candidate it. This guy has been unreal all season. And he looks like Zeus. And I'm not saying he is Zeus, but gosh, he physically imposes his will no matter who he plays against. Had a little bit of a slow game against UNLV last. He's looking to get back in the fold. He's really developed his game. Over 20 points a game this season. He's been absolutely terrific. Tyson Dagenhart on the other side for Boise State. Maybe wanting something to do with slowing down. Jaden Ledee, we got a really fun ball game coming your way in just a bit. It's Boise State and San Diego State next. And now When Boise State and San Diego State get together, you know you're in store for a great contest. There have been plenty of them. Five of the last six have been won by Boise State, but three of them decided by one point, including earlier this season. It has been back and forth, back and forth, and this has gone on for years. I guess a one-time thing with two of the better coaches out on the West Coast, and Leon Rice for Boise State, Brian Dutcher for San Diego State. You can see the history here, the great rivalry, and you really get the feeling of the intensity you can feel it right even before jump tonight you, you can feel it at shoot around the type of intensity that both of these teams are going to bring i can't emphasize enough how well scouted both of these squads are coming into this game two terrific coaching staffs and some terrific players on the floor we were talking earlier about tyson dagenhart for boise state with Guzo Abo, Max Rice is a proud player for them, a program guy, fourth one of his players for Boise State in Mountain West history. And for San Diego State, Lamont Butler hit the shot and sent the Aztecs to the national championship game a season ago. But Jadon Ledee is a superstar out here on the West Coast. We were talking about him earlier. Looking forward to seeing the Carl Malone Award finalist for the top power forward college basketball and the fans are ready for an awesome atmosphere here at Viejas Arena sold out crowd epic for Friday night Mountain West Hoops it's awesome and Leon Rice has his guys going you're gonna see number one for Boise State Omar Stanley a St. John's transfer he has to be great today defensively against Jaden Ledee who is looking to score every time he touches the ball Stanley at 17 including three of three from behind the arc in the first matchup which Boise State won by one in Boise. Opening tip won by the Broncos in black. San Diego State, their home wides on a wide out senior night. All five starters for San Diego State are seniors. It's not just a senior, I think that's their deal. It's what they do. Claudia Anderson beat the shot clock. This is the first shot of the game. You see right away, help side for San Diego State. Terrific moving. Not just the guy guarding the basketball, but everybody else moving succinctly. This San Diego State team can really defend. It's Micah Parrish. Officials tonight, Randy McCall, Michael Irving, Delphi Carr. Passing out of the double was the D into the basket of Bone Lamp by Parrish. A little bit lucky when they're going to double the D in the post. Max Rice, if he's over there quicker. He'll be able to get a steal or two, but this is what he does. Rice ready to launch, couldn't get it. Rice unafraid in big time atmospheres. He had 35 in the pit against the Mexico earlier this year. 
coach at San Diego State, Brian Dutcher. Seven years leading this program. After a long time before that was Steve Fisher building San Diego State basketball and just got himself a five-year extension announced just yesterday. Good for him. 25 years in the same spot. That's unheard of in coaching, period, at the collegiate level. Congratulations to him. The, the San Diego State team, what he's continued to build here with the big, the, the big players, the physicality, uh, really impressive, and it's not going anywhere. Yeah, and you just get the sense Brian Dutcher might be here forever, just the way he is. Deep in the shot clock, Dagenhardt's got a fire. It's an air ball and a shot clock violation as the Aztecs stymie the Broncos, who are led by Leon Rice, who is the second winningest coach in Mountain West history, only behind Steve Fisher. So that tells you the long-term success of the program Leon Rice has built in Boise. Two straight NCAA tournament appearances. He's going to make it three this year for all intents and purposes. Uh, an excellent X's and O's coach who is recruited at a high level as well. Into Latif. Boy, this is a slugfest early on, and this is going to stay San Diego State basketball. A little over two minutes in, no one scored yet. And whatever, whenever Ladee gets the ball in the post, Boise State, they suck into the paint so quick. San Diego State's going to have to make some shots from the perimeter today. Not typically a great three-point shooting team. They're going to have to space the floor out a little bit. Seven to shoot. Ladee with space. Not wow. till Stanley met him at the hoop. The crowd not happy, but that was about as good defense as you can play in a terrific pass. Wow. Stanley through Powell is going to end up at the free throw line here, but it all started with the defense of Omar Stanley. He has to be good today. Continues to work when he gets sealed. Terrific timing. That's all ball, sir. Omar Stanley, he has his hands full. You have to be continuously active when playing against Ladee because he does such a good job at sealing inside of eight feet. Your feet have to continuously be moving. He was an asset on the offensive end of the floor last game, but he has to bring it for 40 minutes on the other end. Stanley doesn't get the free throw. For San Diego State, they do such a good job at getting to the basket. That's their game. Get to the basket, get to the foul line. Nobody better than Jamie Dean. So this Aztec crowd, maybe not used to seeing Ladee get stopped in the hoop. We got our first point almost two and a half minutes in. Hey, this is the game that's going to be. It's going to be grind it, half court on both ends. You're going to have to make shots and really do a good job. Look at them, how they get in the paint. That was one on five right there. Ladee trying to go through everybody as the Broncos swarmed them. Boise turns it over. Leon Rice, he has to be thrilled so far with his defensive presence. Uh, you can't guard Jay Ladee with one guy. It's everybody together. As soon as he touches that ball, you can afford to get in and dig and help. And so far, they've done a terrific job. Only one other player besides Ladee, who's good for 29, averages double figures. That's Reese Waters, who comes off the bench. No other starter is in double figures but Ladee. Parrish in the corner. Towards the basket. Stop. And some frustration after the miss. A technical foul. And that's going to go against Micah Parrish. The officials setting the tone here early. They know it's going to be a physical ball game. Parrish can't do that. He thought he got fouled. It's going to send Max Rice the line. And this Aztec crowd expressing their displeasure. But this is a... You knew it was going to be physical coming into this game. That's what this game is about. It's what it was the first time they met. And you can expect that again tonight. We're seeing it. We're going to take a look here at Micah Parrish. What happened after the play? Drives middle, wants a foul call, complains, a little too demonstrative for the ref's liking. That's a standard setting technical. We, we, we know what kind of game this is going to be. It's going to be a grinded out affair. The officials just kind of putting everybody on notice. 
Roddy Anderson, who played at nearby UC San Diego, gets the first field goal of the game before he transferred to Boise State. 5-0 Broncos to start. And now a whistle with Stanley holding Jamie Lateen underneath, and that's going to be... The foul against Boise State. I actually think that was Ladee holding Stanley on the other end. A little gamesmanship. You have to stay quick on your feet with Stanley. Take a look at your screen. Look at the bottom towards the post. That's Ladee hooking and holding underneath. Tough call for the baseline official. Aztecs through the basketball here. Ladee with a dribble drive. Can't get that either. Anderson on the other side trying to find Rice. Taking her high entry pass, nearly threw it away, saved by Abba. Abba, tough shot, strong. Ladee doing everything, got the rebound. Running up the floor and now going to try to seal in the post. Look at the off-ball activity. You have to now. You have to correct it if you're Max Rice and company. Lamont Butler knows what he's doing. Terrific job attacking those switches and getting the foul. We don't have a field goal yet for San Diego State. They have a point yet. Five nothing, Boise, and a physical start here in San Diego. Five nothing, Boise State. These fans here at San Diego State stay on their feet until San Diego State scores. It hasn't happened yet. Very clear. The word from Leon Rice coming into this one, Gene Ledee is not going to beat us tonight. Well, he's not going to beat us by himself. You're going to have to beat him as a team. So far tonight, Boise doing a terrific job of staying active. Big time block by Omar Stanley. But this is a perfect example of what you have to do. You have He has to see bodies in front of him. Swarm to the basketball and make this Aztec team hit shots from beyond the arc. Once they do that, he's going to have more room to operate. But so far, it's been a defensive clinic by this Broncos team. Just the coaching in this league is outstanding. Outstanding. Was, I mean, Nevada spoiled Boise State senior night on Tuesday when Steve Alford put together an unbelievable game plan to go on the road and, and get a six quad one win. And now you look at Leon Rice now here on the road trying to spoil the Aztecs senior night. Abo slipped. Space for Butler. In and out. Be a foul against Boise State. Call this one a signal to Abba. We'll see. I don't think he was near. It, that's a shot that Lamont Butler needs to just take right off the catch. If you're in rhythm and you shoot that shot, there's going to be a different result. Wide open, you're going to live with that type of shot if you're Coach Brian Dutcher. In rhythm, one of your better shooters. His percentages aren't great, but whenever he takes good ones, he puts himself in good position. Look at all of them in the paint. Ladee in traffic gets it. And buddy, they needed it. Jada Ladee take the lid off. What a move. Drive left, go right, and this is with everybody sinking in. Andrew Meadow comes in. Doesn't matter. You have to close those gaps. What a finish by Jaden Ladee. He's got to see bodies, but a little reach in, you're not taking it from Zeus in a San Diego State uniform. And now an offensive rebound sets up a three for Butler. No. That's a shot you're going to have to have, though. In rhythm, catch and shoot, you live with those. That's been one area that San Diego State is struggling with, shooting from outside. And they have good shooters. Just haven't gotten them to go. Here's Rice. Ten seconds for Meadow. Nearly gave it away. Saved by Dagenhart. Wow. Stopped by Powell. In transition. Lenny. And all they needed was a couple of buckets. And now San Diego State sets their defense. So difficult to, to go against. The spark from Jay Powell. He's an energy guy. That's what Jay Powell does. And with a lead a break, and my goodness. Omar Stanley stepping his way through. Ladea, tough rebound. The 
great wall of Ladee. Terrific job walling up at the basket, hand straight up, not committing the foul. Long two for Ladee. He can shoot the three, and that's a nice look right there for Jaron Ladee. And that's where his game's developed the most. We always knew that he had that kind of talent, but now he's doing it off the bounce, and whenever he functions at the top of the key, you can't send that second defender at him. If he's knocking down that shot, really tough to go against and defend. San Diego State's come out of the timeout on a 6-0 run. Trying to get another stop here. One of the best defensive teams in the country. Space for Omar Stanley for the slam. What a terrific pass by Max Rice. Understood the roll was coming up. Couldn't hit the raise. Fakes away, goes right down to Stanley, who knows what to do. Omar Butler, a Final Four hero. It's Dagan Hart and Ladine just battling in the post right now. Now Stanley on Powell. Powell gets around him but blew the layup. Rice with a step back, long range, it's off. Powell trying to fight for the rebound. Ultimately ends up with it, wasn't easy. Nothing is in this ball game. Here's Trammell. What? Trammell high off the glass, gets it to go. Small man, big finish. Darian Trammell goes right, takes away the ability to leap by attacking the defender's chest. And look how high he puts this off the glass. High skill shot right here by Tremel. And you know when the calendar turns to March, San Diego State knows how to turn it up a notch. It didn't happen on Tuesday, but for a player like Tremel, who was huge in the Sweet 16 to beat number one Bama last year, took down the Crimson Tide, making some free throws, the Elite Eight, to send San Diego State to the Final Four. Most outstanding player of the regional season ago against that free throw to extend the Aztec lead to two. And so many coaches in this day and age get caught up in 5'9", 5'10". So they've been small their whole life, Trent. He knows how to use that size to his advantage. He gets up underneath your legs on defense. And on offense, he plays so well with the leverage that he does have. I mean, really a nice player. And he's had a great career here Martin, in San Diego State. Martin on Heidi, this is going to be Whiting. Three to shoot, Roddy Anderson launching. Right wing three goes for Roddy Anderson deep in the shot clock. You're gonna have to hit shots like that on the road if you're gonna come in here and get a win at Viejas. Pretty good defensive possession, a lot of swarming to the basketball, switching was good. That was a scout team. I'm gonna let you shoot that basketball. Roddy Anderson makes him pay. Only a 25% three point shooter, Eliza Saunders the miss, Meadow the rebound. He's winding. He was a point guard at one point earlier this year, essentially running with two right now are the Broncos. Meadows off the mark. Tramel chases it down. Now going to pull up for three. Heat check, no. And that's going to be a foul against. We'll see who this is on. But how about Roddy Anderson getting it going for Boise State here on the road? Well, finally, somebody is. This ball continues to move, but whenever you find Roddy Anderson on the right wing, he'll give you the lead. Boise up one. Leon Rye is trying to take this Boise State program to new heights. They've been in back-to-back -back NCAA tournaments. This is going to be a third, but still in search of that first win in the Big Dance. It feels like maybe this is the year for Boise State. Well, it's just a matter of time, and they have so many weapons on this team from an offensive standpoint. They have that extra scoring punch that they would need to get that win in the NCAA tournament. DeCourcy has them as a 10 seed. That's not a team I want to play. But that has been a trouble spot. And you think about Boise State as a 10 seed. Playing you against get, a 7. My goodness. I, if I'm a 7, I don't want that one, Trent. But get a win tonight, maybe you find yourself in the 8-9 game. I mean, that's how close it is right now. That's why maybe a game like this could be so important for Boise State. This would be yet another quad one win. It would be their sixth. Waters underneath. Meadow all over it. 
They called that last foul, by the way, on Tyson Dagenhart before the timeout. So that's his first. Whitey. Anderson just hit a three. This time, shot fake towards the bucket, left it short. Talk to Coach Leon Rice. Why did you bring Roddy Anderson in here? We needed that added athleticism, that quickness to this roster after losing Marcus Shaver last season. He said this type of environment, we needed a guy like him. He has to have a big game. In the corner, good look, Harrell's out. It was Bird. We mentioned how Roddy Anderson played at nearby UC San Diego as they made the transition from Division II to Division I. The trains are an outstanding program. It's really a shame they're not postseason eligible. They've been very good in the Big West Conference. But Roddy didn't want to sit out of the tournament. He came to Boise State because he wanted to participate in the big dance. The foul there is going to go against Miles Heidi of San Diego State. Back up big. It's an older player getting after a freshman and be like, hey, go after this ball fake real quick. I'm going to get a foul. It, the ball continues to move, and you're going to have to move it against the San Diego State team. They're so good in man-to-man, -man, like guarding your yard, the person in front of you. The ball has to move. You can't let them take you out of what you want to do offensively. Meadow up top. Hunks it in. Oh, the bank is open late night. 7.35 on the West Coast, Andrew Meadow from the top of the key. They got different bankers hours out here in San Diego. Bird can't get the response. Tip by Butler doesn't drop either. San Diego State's missed four layups inside of six feet today. Anderson trying to extend his Bronco lead, but he turns it over. Taken away by Bird. Look out below, Paris! Miles Bird is in some pain down near mid-floor after the dunk. And while the roof was about to pop off of Viejas here, a hush has fallen under or over this Aztec crowd as Bird is having his right knee attended to. So he's fighting for this loose ball. It's great defense, excellent effort. Oh, he got stepped on. Well, here's the good part about that is, yes, it hurts. You're going to see he dives on the loose ball 21 right there. Roddy Anderson gets, he steps on his knee, so it doesn't feel good. But when it comes to knees, that's best case scenario. Bird just went in a dead sprint to the locker room a moment ago. So the fact that he was able to go in a dead sprint is a good sign. But We'll take a look at this. I mean, the way what we saw right there. Look completely you know, inadvertent. Yeah, I mean, he's just trying to get back on defense. Bird's on the ground. He got tripped up. I mean, that's what we saw. And we'll get another look here. We're going to take a look at number zero as he's getting back. As he's trying to get back. No, come on, guys. That's, let's get going. This is nothing. There's been a lot harder contact in this game alone. Inside of, the, inside of 10 feet, there's been more contact. <laughs> Well, there's more contact in this one than there is on the blue turf out in Boise. But across the way on the gridiron here at San Diego State. We're going to keep looking at this thing. Just watch it. You can see where Bird dives. Anderson trying to get back defensively. Parrish trying to get some space. And he's just trying to get out of the way. No, this is... He was tripped up. I mean, if you're Anderson, the last thing you want to do, for a couple of reasons, you, as, as a sportsman, you don't want to step on the other guy. But B, he puts himself at risk by making contact there. Absolutely. This is what I like to refer to as a giant nothing burger. Let's play on. The intensity in this game has been awesome. No call on the play. Let's go ahead and move forward. So while Bird goes to the locker room, doesn't appear to be Overly serious, but was in some pain. It hurts. Yeah. The time you bang knees or hit knees against the floor, it's not comfortable. I like this. Quick first pass trap. Look at Elijah Saunders. He's just going to linger up. They're going to send that second defender. This is when having older players like Cam Martin is beneficial. What a finish. Cam Martin to the bucket, broke the press, and said, hey, I'm a big man, but I can run the point. 
who won a Division II National Championship, transfers to Kansas, wins a Division I National Championship, and now competing for another NCAA tournament bid. Great defense. The help side forces the turnover. At six foot nine, Cam Martin just handling the rock. So beneficial to have a veteran five man who you can put up against pressure in the middle of that zone pressure, and he can break it for you. That's a big time finish. He's got plenty of experience. This is the seventh year of college basketball for Cam Martin. Max Reiser had the ball a moment ago for Boise State in his sixth year. And I misspoke about Cam Martin. He made a Division II Sweet 16 and then won a national championship at Kansas. Omar Stanley found the shoot with Ladee all over him. Ladee trying to knock it away. Stanley, two seconds, throws it to no man's land. And a shot clock violation. Look at that on the ball defense by Jaden Ladee. The big fella can move his feet. And look, keep your chest on the ball, lateral movement. Might have had a little bit of a reach, but not enough for the officials to call it. Jaden Ladee, so physically impressive, right? Well, everyone talks about what he does on the offensive side, but you got to play defense if you're going to play for Brian Dutcher. Elijah Saunders shoots it, knocks it down on top of the circle. Hey, I'm a big fan of Elijah Saunders. Strong, physical, can really shoot it. Played for the Compton Magic. I saw him play for the first time in Birmingham. And that's not a good pass. Doesn't matter what team he's playing for. <laughs> Teams trading turnovers here. It's going to end up being Lizzie basketball. You put Omar Stanley as another guy to try to sink in and help on Ladee. Well, Saunders is a guy that you have to respect his three-point shot. Saunders, who was starting for so much of this season, lost that starting role, but embracing coming off the bench and knocking down that three will go a long way. But a response, Omar Stanley. And that's a game-changing play for San Diego State because if they have to guard Omar Stanley out on a perimeter like that, makes it so much more difficult to rotate and leave some of these bigger players in the paint. Omar Stanley has made 15 threes all season. Four of them have come against San Diego State, and he's four for four against the Aztecs. The answer from Parrish doesn't go. Here comes the help, Anderson. Martin with a shot fake, now gets towards the hoop. Absorbs the contact and off some free throws coming up on the other side of this break. But how about Omar Stanley getting it going? Well, he's got to hit shots, but it all comes from Roddy Anderson. Drawing two, pitching out, Omar Stanley. That's a three. It's remarkable what's been built here in San Diego's going down to the 09-10 season, Kawhi Leonard. Leading the Aztecs to the Sweet 16 in 2011. And they've been to so many NCAA tournaments last year. Got to the national championship game. Unbeaten at home so far this season is San Diego State. It's about taking that next step. Mike DeCorsi right now sees him as a five seed. Despite just three quad one wins. And they also have that strength of schedule is massive. I mean, they played St. Mary's, who's had a great season. Beat Washington, Cal, I understand, like, the, those teams aren't as good as what you typically want them to be, but at the same time, Stanford win, Gonzaga win at the Kennel, like, the, big wins, and that's why they're projected so high. To be able to schedule like that, San Diego State's the kind of program, they don't duck anybody, they'll go and play on the road, went to Grand Canyon this year. Yeah. Not an easy place to play. Went, went up the road. We mentioned UC San Diego and how good they've been this year in the Big West. They, it took them down to the final play for San Diego State to go on the road, an in-city rival. Most coaches wouldn't do that. Brian Dutcher did. Ladine can't get it. Now there's going to be a foul against Boise State after the shot. And that's going to be the seventh against the Broncos. That's going to put out the Aztecs in the bonus. And I don't love that call because I thought Jaden Ladee hooked around in order to get through that double team. Kim Martin.
fighting for his life down there. You just kind of get the feeling there was so much contact before the shot and then not a whole lot of contact after the shot, but that's what gets called. So here's a one and one coming up here for Jay Powell. Jay Powell transfer from Campbell. Really kind of a jack of all trades. A terrific defender. Been a bit inconsistent offensively. I think that's fair to say. But when he gets going, he adds another element to this team. And whenever you need a guy like that to play well, best way to get him going is get him to the free throw line. Got his first start of the season earlier this year against Utah State at 16 points in that game. Then went back to the bench for three. Only to earn his starting job back. He's been starting the last five games, though, coming off of zero against UNLV. It's on the board early here. It's going to be 40 minutes of pressure. You play the Aztecs, you know what to expect. Big game for Roddy Anderson. Taking care of the ball and getting the Bronx into their offense. Omar Stanley down low. Tough shot. Martin's tip goes. You have to finish possessions against Boise State, the number one rebounding team percentage-wise in the Mountain West. Tramel towards the hoop. No, oh. but a tip jam. Jay Powell goes up and puts it down. Sometimes your best offense is just to throw it off the board. Clean it up, Jay Powell. They're buzzing atop the Montezuma Mesa right now. For the home crowd seeing their team down three. Omar Stanley. Nearly had to take it away. Roddy Anderson, can he hit it again? No. And that's going to be a foul on Butler trying to get that rebound. And the Aztec faithful not happy. The official called it from the other side of the floor. But how about this? You have to finish possessions against Boise State. They're crashing with their four and their five man. Dan Martin goes in unchecked, able to get in a tip in. When you have Powell and Ladee on Stanley, uh, that's a tough assignment for the month. Well, well, underneath, Marty Anderson stopped Dagan Hart. And, and it's the same thing, right? You put pressure on the rim, you draw help. Those crackback bl blockouts are so important. Reese Waters, the USC transfer. Shot's no good. Hey, Reese Waters, he's, he's wired to score. I was wondering how long it was going to take him to get his first shot up. That's a bad pass. Taken away by Anderson. All kinds of free space. The guard gets the steal and the slam. Boise State up by seven is their biggest lead. Hey, Roddy Anderson has been waiting for this game. A little, clo little closer to last year's home. Playing really well and aggressive here at the Viejas. Anderson was good in the first match. He got 14 points in that game. It's been his best game in conference play. Ladee got away with an extra step. They're going to count it and one. That's not your average collegiate student athlete. How strong is Jaden Ladee? Your best bet, Trent, when you're defending him, you get over there and you put your chest on him. It's a bad reach by Dagenhart. Can't have that happen. Uh, Jaden Ladee, four of eight in this game. The rest of the Aztecs, four for 19. That call was on Omar Stanley. If you're going to come in, come in and show your chest and make him finish over the top because reaching in is not going to do much. So big, so strong, so physical. That's pick your poison, though. That's two now on Stanley. Dagan already has one. You don't want your best scorer to pick up a second either, but both of those players vital for Boise State in this game to try to pull off a road upset. Bird nearly had it. 
11 seconds here for Max Rice. And that's going to be Butler who ran right into Cam Martin. He's going to be charged with a foul. That'll and, be a second. And you want to play physical against these handoffs, but you have to be smart. See, Lamont Butler tries to get over the top because he understands how good of a shooter that Max Rice is. That's one you need to let go, get around. Tough call. I like the aggressiveness. I mean, this is Brian Dutcher basketball. Physical on the perimeter, picking up full court. They're not changing the way they're playing, and I guarantee it. Anderson in the air to pass finds Oppo, but he can't finish. Waters on the other side. Pac-12 sixth man of the year gets the reverse land. That was a year ago, and now with San Diego State, it's back to a two-point game. Reese Waters gets that ball. Forget about ball reversal. He's getting to the cup, or it's going up. And when you're in semi-break, that's a perfect time for him to attack. Ladie the takeaway. Aztecs have numbers in the corner. Bird. <laughs> It's good to see him back on the floor. The roof was going to come off of Viejas Arena if that one dropped. And they're begging for something positive to happen. But Reese Waters, he gets it in transition. He's attacking a little reverse. Keep it. San Diego State in it. Boise State by two here deep in the first half at San Diego State. What a year it has been in the Mountain West Conference. Mike DeCorsi projecting. It's like a five seed right now, but my goodness, absolutely loaded in this league. It's been awesome. And UNLV, you see them out of the picture. They could very, very well go and win the entire tournament in Las Vegas next week. Yeah, worth noting that tournament's played on their home floor at the Thomas and Max Center. And speaking of the Mountain West tournament, those top five get a double bye. In this game, if San Diego State wins, that's going to be the matchup. It would actually be San Diego State and Boise State. If Boise State wins, chaos ensues in this league. Really going to be an incredible tournament. I would argue the best conference tournament in college basketball. I don't think there's any doubt. Seven teams could potentially win this league. Whether you're talking about UNLV with all their talent, Deion Thomas Jr., an electric point guard, whether you're talking about New Mexico, who plays this helter-skelter pace, they can get hot in a hurry and win two, three games in a row. I mean, it's such a deep league. That top seven, it's going to be incredibly entertaining. It's like a lane violation is going to allow Dagenhart to shoot another free throw here for missing the front end of the one and one as they'll get the clock appropriately set. For, I know there's a lot of college basketball fans that maybe pick up the sport come March and start tuning in now to, to get ready. That's a shame, Trent. But, but for those that have been watching all year long, you know the Mountain West Conference has been as exciting as any conference in college basketball with great talent and thrilling games. And I don't use the great word lightly. We've had full court game winners. We've had big threes at the end of the regulation. It's been terrifically. Elijah Saunders knocks it down from the left wing. What a set play. Quick handoff, a little bit of confusion early, but Trammell attacking the middle and knowing Saunders, he's gonna knock it through. And after Boise State had a seven point lead, San Diego State has come back to take the lead in this game. You see Darion Trammell attacks the middle, and they're going to replace on the backside, knowing the help's there. Elijah Saunders really developed from beyond the arc. Terrific pass and better shot. Talented sophomore. Just the second made three for San Diego State in this game. They're two for ten. That was after they made 11 at UNLV on Tuesday. Chase Whiting converts the front end of the one and one the Broncos are able to answer. It has been a seesaw start to this game. For James Whiting, 
Seesaw is a good way to put this. It's been an ugly start to this game offensively. <laughs> I'm meaner than you, Trent. Well, it has not been pretty uh, aesthetically pleasing offensively. Both teams playing really high level defensively. The guys just aren't making shots. You're right about that. The intensity has been there. The shot making is not. But Jace Wyman does get two for a player that had to take on the starting point guard role with Roddy Anderson needing a little maturing to do earlier in the year. But Anderson has come back and taken that spot. And one of the two point guards right now are the Broncos. But that three was missed there by Trammell. Another missed three. And Jane Ledee can't believe he was just called for his first personal right there. Great box out, Cam Martin. You have to put a body on him, and then go find that basketball, hit and get. Good box out. No brainer foul call. And Cam Martin being physical. He got the ball initially, but right. reaching over the top like that. That's Cam Martin being a veteran player, understanding, hey, I'm not going to out Braun. Jaden with D, but I can put my body on him and make it difficult. Really good off the bench addition this year. That's Cam Martin. Yeah. Cam Martin has been excellent. And for a while, coming into the, the start of this season, he was a starter. But with the rise of Omar Stanley, he's taking the job. But Martin accepting that bench role and being a really key contributor. Oh, he misses that free throw. I think it started when Omar Stanley started knocking down shots and getting more comfortable offensively. Ladee got hit going up. It's going to go against Martin. It's going to send Ladee to the foul. Line. Incredibly physical when that ball gets in the paint. You'll see Ladee just so strong. He just moves players. That's a lot of ball. A little too violent. I take that back. The second one was the foul. Ladee continuing to work. So we'll see Jaden Ladee at the line for San Diego State. Shooting two free throws, trying to tie this game here at home against Boise State in a big time Mountain West battle. Coming up, it's the Fox College Hoops halftime report with Rob Stone and Casey Jacobson. We look to a Big East quadruple header Saturday on Fox. They'll go behind the scenes with the defending national champion, UConn. And they'll preview UConn's game Saturday night against Providence. One of two for Ladee. Jaden Ladee, really the only guy that's been able to get any quality offense for this Aztecs team. Trammell was trying to sell the push off. Instead, Meadow misses a layup. Gets it back. Now Dagan Hart for three. Answers for Boise State. Why take a layup when you can get a three? I'm a fan of that offense. <laughs> hey, look, Andrew Meadow. For Boise, he's going to be a really good player as his career progresses. Crash course in what it's like to play in a big-time environment today. For Dagenhart, just five points so far, including that last three. Meanwhile, top ten for Darian Trammell, who gets it. Broncos push it quickly. Tight defense of San Diego State whining, trying to crack through it. No. That's going to be a foul on Dagenhart, and that's his second. So he bumps one. Finally, the lid coming off a little bit here in the Viejas. It stayed on for this layup. Then after that, that ball sprays out. Offensive rebounds lead to perfect three-point opportunities because the defense sucked in. Good shot. And then Trammell on the other end. He plays with such good pace. I understand 5'9", five, 5'10". Five, that last slow step to keep the defense off balance, attack Roddy Anderson's chest. Big-time finish. It's not like Roddy Anderson played poor defense right there. No. I mean, he stuck with him all the way. That was just a better offensive move for Trammell. Reese Waters. And when you're a smaller player, going back to Tremel, yeah. uh, you have to take away the defense's ability to get up in the air. And how do you do that? You attack the chest of the defense and take away their ability to jump straight up because, quite frankly, 5'10", you have to be crafty. I'm a fan of Reese Waters. Spurtable score. You look at how San Diego State could be in the NCAA tournament 
And he's a guy who coming off the bench could give you 12 points quick, fast, and in a hurry and really flip a game on its head. You leave USC with all the talented players that the Trojans have to come down the five freeway to San Diego State. You think you have a starting job, and he did for a while. But for Brian Dutcher, trying to find space for Butler, Trammell, Parrish, and Waters. Waters has had to accept his spot on the bench. But has still made himself the second leading scorer on this San Diego State squad. Well, also by doing that, you allow him to be who he is. And what do I mean by that? He doesn't have to come in and try to move the basketball, run through offense. As soon as he comes in the game, his job is to score and be that guy that second unit who can give your team some instant offense. Great pass. Back to our cut and a bucket underneath because Roddy Anderson gets to the hoop, lays it in. That's nine now for Roddy Anderson here in the first half. This was an excellent pass. Cam Martin, that's what he does best. Run offense, put it on a dime, and Roddy Anderson having himself a heck of a first half. Time on the floor called by Boise State. Tomorrow on Fox, it's a huge final regular season Saturday in the Big East. First and 10th ranked Creighton taking on Villanova at 2.30 p.m. Eastern. Then at 5, number 8 Marquette battles Xavier. And in prime time, the defending national champ, second ranked UConn faces Providence. A big Saturday in the Big East tomorrow on Fox and streaming on the Fox Sports app. The UConn Providence game is going to be a good one. Devin Carter at Providence has been. I, in my mind, he's the most valuable player in that entire league. He's player of the year in the Big East as far as I'm concerned. When Bryce Hopkins went down, he's led Providence to a 10-9 record in an extremely tough league. And, and I'm telling you, he, he got even more responsibility when that happened. And they've been terrific. Kim English has done a terrific job at Providence. And that Big East Conference, my goodness, they just, it's every single night. And then even below that red line in the standings there a moment ago, St. John's knocking on the door. Can Rick Pitino get back to the tournament? If Rick Pitino gets in, does Richard Pitino's team at New Mexico get in? That's a fascinating storyline to follow. About a second and a half differential shot clock game clock here. Sprint a ball screen up. Let Trammell work. You have Saunders going to be able to pick and pop right here. Trammell towards the bucket, finds Ladee, Meadows all over him, and a whistle comes, and Ladee will be shooting two free throws. And I'm not sure. This was a terrific drive by Trammell. We're going to be able to take another look here. Excellent job getting downhill. Little scoop pass. They laid a dollar short. You can't leave your feet. Andrew Meadow played good position defense and lost his discipline at the last minute. Put the big fella on the line. Jane Ledee, the only player in this game in double figures. Misses the free throw. Nearly 74% from the line this year. Think about his 20 points a game, how many points he left on the on the floor by missing some free throws. Well, and, and I'm not expecting him to shoot 90 percent, but you get my. But get for my, a player I'm that that makes his money, or bread and butter, get to the hoop. So he's got to do. Max Ryan's going to take a half court heave. It gets blocked, but Boise State is going to take a two point lead in a half in what has been just an absolute fight here at the Ahas Arena. That's going to be the end of the first half here at. The Ahas Arena, San Diego State down here at the break. Boise State 33, San Diego State 31 at the break. We'll be right back here in San Diego. The look at some first half stats and highlights. Hard to beat March in San Diego, California. Late night college basketball here on the West Coast. And Boy, things heating up here on senior night. San Diego State down by two. The entire starting five for San Diego State being honored here. Lamont Butler, a hero on this campus. He should never pay for a meal within three miles of this campus. Jane Ledee also putting together arguably one of the best seasons in Aztec history. What a class for San Diego State and Coach Brian Dutcher. Amazing what Brian Dutcher was able to build, of course, taking this team to the national championship game a season ago. Can they get back there? We'll find out this.
this month. Coming up, we're going to send the Rob Stone to Casey Jacobson in L.A. for the Congress. Fox College Hoops, that time reports. Boise State with a two-point lead here as we get set for the start of the second half. In San Diego, California, we are at atop the Montezuma Mesa here at Viejas or as we walk from the court side with Tenant Oglesby. My name is Trent Rush, RITO. Look at that first half. It was a battle, really, defensively, and the defense really was the story in the first half. It's been incredibly physical all game long. Both teams doing a terrific job knowing their scouting report and getting into the paint, protecting that paint. Boise State did a terrific job with Jaden Ledee early in this game, playing really Really physical, straight up. He sees bodies every time he catches it. But as the half went on, he was able to catch some at the top of the key, make a spin move and finish a little in one action. And this is where his game is a little different this year. The ability to step out and knock down that long mid-range jump shot. And on the other side, Boise State has been a team. Once they get into the paint, they fanned out four threes. Only four of Seven, but they've hit enough to keep the San Diego State team in trouble or aware of where they're out on the perimeter and keep them honest to where they have to defend the outside. San Diego State made 11 threes in their last game. They've missed nine so far here in the first half. Again, it's been a defensive struggle. Taken away is Anderson out of the <laughs> gate here to start the second half. Oh, make a statement, young Roddy. Anderson, the first Bronco to double figures, gets a steal for a score to start the second half. How do you like that? Trammell in response. Abo goes way up for the rebound. Dealt with foul trouble in the first. You have to think Roddy Anderson had this game circle on his calendar. Transferring from UC San Diego. Played terrific today. Meanwhile, David Hart just got his pocket picked by Trammell. Up ahead, Ladee takes it himself. That's something, as a post player, you have to see what's behind you if that extra guy is going to come. Same thing here. Nearly another takeaway as Butler and Trammell all over Max Rice, and Butler's going to end up getting his second foul coat. That's something you don't expect to see from two seniors. A lazy pass to start the half, and then a quick steal. Trammell finds the running big man, Jaden Ledee. For Boise State... They still can win a share of the conference championship. They need some help tomorrow from New Mexico against Utah State. Abo inside. And if Boise's going to win this game, they need more of that. Well, they certainly do. Shabuzo Abo is a bucket. One of three so far from the field. I don't think he's been featured as much as what Leon Rice would like. What a move. Meanwhile, a response for San Diego State. I think we've seen more offense here in a minute and three seconds in the second half than we did all in the first. Strong move. Lamont Butler. A little too strong for Roddy Anderson on that possession. Can't let him get middle. KYP, know your personnel. Lamont Butler loves to get to that right hand. And he's so physically strong. It's 6'2", 205 pounds. Will be remembered forever here at San Diego State. Hit the kind of shot that can get you a statue built in the Final Four. Not just a great moment in San Diego State history, but one of the all-time moments in Final Four history. Boise State by one. Abo had their last bucket. He only played six and a half minutes in the first due to foul trouble. Stanley gets tripped up. This is the shot we were talking about over FAU with .7 seconds to send San Diego State to the national championship game. Hang it in the Louvre, baby. Hang it in the Louvre. That was an incredible game. An all-time moment. San Diego State history, Lamont Butler delivering and being honored on senior night. I wish our television audience could have heard this crowd erupt when they called Lamont Butler's name and announced him coming up with his family. 10 to shoot for Anderson, who's been excellent. He's got 11, finds Rice. And he stepped out of bounds. Terrific closeout by Butler. And I'll say this, Roddy Anderson's played well for Boise State. It seems like the more they pressure him, the better he gets. Because being a young player, it, you don't have to think as much. You just react. And he's been good because of that today. 
Max Rice had that last turnover. San Diego State's done a good job on him. Rice, just two points so far in this game. Butler with a step back, showing off the mid-range. Silky. Big time play. You get a guy quick step back, elevate over the top. And the Aztec faithful starting to generate a little momentum. Inside Rice. That's a goaltend. So count it for Boise State. This is Lamont Butler using that strong body. Quick step off, great leverage, follow through is true for Mr. Butler. I'm actually shocked that Lamont Butler isn't a better percentage shooter than what he is. The shot comes off his hand nice, he, he elevates well. Parrish going to launch, and he hits it over Ambo. San Diego State back on top by two. That's really been the missing piece so far for this Aztec team. Two and nine in the first half. Lid starting to come off. Anderson now from the left wing. Got it. The tenth lead change of this game as Boise State goes back up one. What you can do, sir, I can do better. Roddy Anderson playing exceptional. 14 points for Anderson, matches a career high in his time at Boise State. Long rebound, goes off to Trammell, second chance, gets it, and one! And this San Diego State fan base has been begging to cheer for this team. And what better way to get the crowd going than an offensive rebound? And the little guard finishing among the trees. Trammell at the line. He's got seven already. Make it eight. These two teams to start the second half. A combined nine for 11. T.O., you wanted offense in the second half. We've gotten it. Finally. I mean, the ball's popping. Guys are communicating, and, and it's a small thing, Trent, but good passing and setting up your teammates makes all the difference in the world. That Omar Stanley is... trying to find Rice to turn over. On cue, right? Boise State's had a couple of plays that have ended up in buckets because those passes are on time and on target. Makes it really difficult if you have to rein in some of these passes from above your head. That Roddy Anderson three on the left side. Max Rice cutting to the hoop. Perfect pass and finish. It's a small thing, but it makes all the difference. That last turnover, the ninth for Boise State. Compare that to the Aztecs who have had just four. Inside, Ladie goes way up for the catch and gets it at the hoop. That's a terrific offensive set by Brian Dutcher and his staff. And why do you set? Why is that? They enter the ball to the post from the top of the key. That rotation for Roddy Anderson in the back corner is so far, it makes it incredibly difficult. Uh-oh. Taken away by Trammell. Boise can't beat the press. Back to Ladie. Who else? He's got it. You want to get the people going. The Aztecs forcing some turnovers and getting out, but it's been Jake Ledee, the big fella. That's not Zeus, but they don't look much different. An entry pass from the top of the key, tough finish with the left, the ensuing possession, forget about it. Quick steal by Mr. Trammell, and you push it to transition. Ledee runs the floor as well as anybody, and the Aztecs are rolling. San Diego State with their biggest lead of the night. They're up by six here, four minutes into the second half. And a rocking crap. By the way, the burritos here are delicious in San Diego. And my goodness, Jane Ledeen. I don't know what he's eating, but it's working. He's one of the best players in the Mountain West Conference. It can't be all burritos because he is a mountain masquerading as a man, as I heard one time by a legendary figure. But Jane Ledeen, in my opinion, that's the Mountain West Player of the Year. But look at how many quality pieces in this league 
Uh, it's such a deep league, a talented league, and a lot of individual talent in this league. And Jaden Ledee, a, a nightmare matchup no matter who he plays because it's 6'10", 250-something-odd pounds. Uh, I mean, just versatile in how he can score. He's added to his game. And tonight has been no different. Last timeout came from Leon Rice. So we'll have two remaining the rest of the way. Six-point lead for San Diego State. The Aztecs started the first half one of nine, the second half seven of nine. Omar Stanley underneath. Stanley on the D. Big time matchup right here. And stopped by Powell. Goes out of bounds, and San Diego State is going to get a bet when we come back. It's the Aztecs up by six. Starting with the offense and then the defense as Jay Powell comes flying in for the SWAT 48-42, San Diego State. The Big East Men's Basketball Tournament is one of the great events in all sports and you can count on an amazing week at the Mecca, Madison Square Garden in New York. Great teams, top players, championship level coaches, the best fans, and amazing energy. 2024 Big East Men's Basketball Tournaments next week, March 13th to the 16th, exclusively on Fox and FS1 and streaming live on the Fox Sports app. What a conference in the Big East. Uh, an incredible conference. I'm going to be honest, Madison Square Garden, I was at the Big East Tournament last year. Trent, if you haven't been, that's a bucket list situation to get to MSG and watch the Big East Tournament. Uh, the, the atmosphere, the stands, the way that sits right on top of you. I'm, I played in the ACC. I never had a chance to play at MSG. And it's one of the great regrets that I have because, I mean, what an electric atmosphere. And you're playing on a stage in the Big East. is the biggest stage on Fox. One of the best atmospheres on the West Coast is right here at Viejas Arena. Jaden Ledee is up to 19 points now for the Aztecs. They go up eight. Terrific patience. Darian Trammell at seven assists last game, continuing that good play, just being patient. In the pick and roll. Underneath the Martin tend to shoot. Meadow gonna slash towards the bucket, gets pinned. They thought that was a goaltend. We'll see if it gets reviewed. Meanwhile, here's San Diego State the other direction. Trammell trying to find Ladie gets waved off. Foul first. They're actually going three in the key on Jalen Ladia. That's a turtle. Well, we're going to take a look at this block. Andrew Meadow, this was a good, strong drive. I thought it went off the glass, and Trent, it did. Yes. Missed call by the officiating crew. Good, strong drive. Oh, no, it did. No. Good block. I stand corrected. Let me apologize to the officiating crew, which I've never done before in my life. Jay Powell got there. Good Boy. no call. Excellent work by our crew to have a good look at that right there. I, on the floor, it did look like it could have been a goaltend. Maybe it should have been a goaltend for the review shot. Otherwise, Abo's three is a miss. Powell goes up for a rebound. That's that energy from Jay Powell we were talking about earlier. Here he comes, running the flank towards the bucket. Goes down hard. It's going to stay Aztec basketball. Getting back to the physical nature of this game. Jay Powell, I like the aggressiveness for Cam Martin. He's got quick hands to swipe down right on top of the ball. He got ball first, and the San Diego fans, San Diego State fans don't like it. Fisher's doing a nice job despite the atmosphere. Boise State hasn't scored in over three minutes. Meanwhile, Parrish has made it an 11-0 run for San Diego State. I like it. They saw the mismatch. Micah Parrish. On the smaller Roddy Anderson. Boise State tried to pre-switch, and all you had to do was fire it over the top because you had that mismatch. Dagenhardt's been quiet so far. Trying to split the defenders will get to the free throw line here. Tyson Dagenhardt just five points in this game for a player of Boise State that is averaging 17 of them. This parish is third. Elijah Saunders upset with the call. It wasn't him. I thought he played pretty good position defense. You don't want a guy to get baseline, get there, stay vertical. That second defender has to be a little bit more disciplined. 
Tyson Dagan Hart, who's been able to really establish himself as the foreman for Boise State with the help coming from in the front court, Omar Stanley and Cam Martin, transfers. Behind the rim right here, San Diego State. Look at the wall of students. Got to focus in. Dagan Hart doesn't bother him, though. Here's Trammell. San Diego State with it now. Throws it away. Boise State's going to get a bag, so Boise State trying to get something going after San Diego State's made each of the last five shots, but the Broncos still looking for the first field goal close to four minutes. And I like Trammell's urgency to try to get that ball out. Playoff two feet, and Reese Waters has that entire side of the floor to operate. A little bit more time to get that pass to your score. Anderson for three. He's having a career night. Couldn't get that one and has to get back defensively. Nearly taken away. It's going to be on the ground. Go against Cam Morton. Rumbling, bumbling, stumbling on that one. A little miscommunication. Ladie just happens to pick it up. It's been a physical basketball game. We're starting to get back to that a little bit. The first sure. six minutes of this game, offense started to open up. Now beginning to clamp back down to, quite frankly, the style of play that both of these coaches and both of these teams like. But you can understand being in this building, the impact of the fans and the defensive tenacity Brian Dutcher's team plays with, why San Diego State has the second longest home winning streak in the country, why they haven't lost a home game this year. The building makes a difference. Also helps to have a superstar like Jaden Ludin. How about the talent level on that shot? When you think there's nothing left, get it to Jaden Ledee. 18th time he's been over 20 points this season. He's up to 21 tonight. He's been in double figures in every game for the Aztecs. Ooh. Whiting. Wow. Gets it. 7 720 revolution on the rim. He was baiting Darian Trammell to reach. Crosses over last minute. You're out of position. Whiting. A little floater. Trammell, good shot fake. Bird wasn't ready to shoot. Waters was, but missed. I don't think he was ready to shoot. I think that was the problem. He was he caught that ball straight up and realized, oh, how open am I? I gotta get rid of it. Take your time and knock it through. Dagan Hart's ready, and he knocks it down. Exhibit A, Trent Rush. Hands ready, butt down, fire away. Tyson Dagan Hart trying to battle the Broncos back into this one. A slump buster for Boise State. He's up to 10. Back to a five-point game. Rice knocks it free. It's going to stay with San Diego State. But Boise State storming back. They certainly are. We have some talented players in this game. How about Jay Maladie? A little fadeaway. That's an NBA shot, Trent. On the other side, or excuse me, Whiting, quick floater, crossing in the middle, and then on the other end, Deegan Hart. Big time shot. The follow through is pure. San Diego State playing to make sure that they're going to have that double buy in the Mountain West Conference Tournament next week. Boise State can still earn a share of a big or of a Mountain West title in a big matchup tonight. San Diego State, 20 straight home wins. Jaden Ledeen has been excellent for the Aztecs. He certainly has, and he's doing it in a lot of different ways. No threes, no, but some mid-range jump shots, and he's trying to keep the San Diego State team above that red line. Would be huge. Unbelievably crowded conference this year in the Mountain West. It's the best by a mile this league has really ever been. A projected six teams from the Mountain West have a chance to get into the NCAA tournament. UNLV says, wait, don't forget about us. They would likely have to win the Mountain West tournament on their home floor to do it. But Leon Rice talking with staff right now, trying to come up with an answer. They were down 10 a moment ago. They have it within five. Inside of 12 minutes to go in this game. Got to find a stop for Lee. Butler to the basket for two. How composed was Butler when he attacked the rim right there? 
He cuffed that basketball like a football player. Stops, quick finish. It's been a battle. Everything inside of 10 feet today, both sides of the ball. Dagenhart battling for position. Saunders understanding, hey, I, I, I can't quit pushing out to try to get him to, out further away from the basket. I know that sounded wordy the way I said that, Trent, but you get what I'm saying. Push that guy out and make that scoring opportunity a little bit more difficult. There's Dagenhart. Hit a three before the last break, trying to spark this Bronco offense. Goes to the left hand and gets stopped. Saunders met him and rejected him. Here comes Bird from his roommate, Saunders. I don't know if Elijah Saunders has a fan club or not, but I'm thinking about running for presidency of that fan club. That, that kid's really good. And he's knocking down shot. He's big. He's physical defender. He's the next one for this Aztecs pro program. Bird to Saunders in the corner. No. Hung on the rim, just didn't drop. Dagenhart's going to rise and fire, but he missed. Abo trying to keep it alive. Bird takes it away. Broncos have to get back in transition. Saunders, a ton of space. Buries it for three. Elijah Saunders. Time shot in transition for the sophomore. San Diego State back up by 10 here on their home floor at Viejas. Abo looking for the silencer. Stuffed. Stanley trying to keep it alive, and it's going to be San Diego State ball. Elijah Saunders, the super sophomore. Gets a block on one end, stays physical, chesting up the strong Dagenhart, and on the other end, not able to knock down a three. The impact of what he's going to be able to do here in a San Diego State uniform, huge. And I like this change of pace. Switch to a little zone. Ladee down low. Ton of contact, no whistle, doesn't get the call. Now here comes Boise State going the other way. Saunders is coming off a strong performance against UNLV to at 4 3. It's taken hard, and this is that. And Stanley earns it back for Boise. One you have to have on the road. Shot created by Roddy Anderson. Take it hard, you're not going to get a better look than that. Rise from way deep delivers. I stand corrected. Big time shot, Max Rice. Rice, seven points, his first three of the game. No one has played in more Mountain West games ever than Max Rice. He's the fourth winningest player in conference history. Goes to the deck and is in pain in the corner. Max Rice is down, and this is a tough player that is hurt right now for Boise State. And he's looking at his leg, and Max Rice touching his right knee went down hard. The son of Leon Rice is grimacing on the floor right now. So this is Max Rice. Let's take a look at what happened here. One up on Butler. Looks like they banged knees. Oh. And he went down hard on that. And is going to need help coming off the floor. A greeting from Butler. Two high-class, high-character athletes that meet a ton of their programs. Rice is going to walk off in his own power. Will be attended to. And you know the gamer Max Rice is is going to do all he can to stay in this ball game and try to lead the Broncos back. I'm telling you, the inside of your knee, and it didn't look like anything catastrophic, but that is painful. That bone-to-bone -bone collision. I do not envy Max Rice right now. Nice moment, too, from Butler. The, the demonstration of class from two elite competitors. David Hart gets the three, and the Broncos are back within four. You just want to hang around and give yourself a chance on the road if you're Boise State. I like this change, little 1-3-1 one, one zone, just to switch the rhythm of this ballgame. 
Butler for three. Missed. Bird on his second chance. How athletic is Miles Bird? 6'6", six, six, long, athletic. Miles Bird put on a little bit of weight this offseason. His roommate Saunders had to drop a few pounds. Bird had to gain a few. And those two sophomores are the next wave of talent for San Diego State basketball. Meanwhile, Abo's three connects. Shabuzo Abo. One of the best shooters in college basketball. Hasn't had that many opportunities over the last five games, Trent. Shooting 48%. For in three. the corner, Bird now. No. Now Butler the second chance. Look, Butler to the basket, missed. Heidi, third time's the charm. Miles Heidi, the freshman. Coach Brian Dutcher really high on this freshman. Riding through traffic gets it. And here's the thing. You're trying to steal some minutes for Jaden Ledee going into this next whistle. It's going to be a media timeout. You play the freshman. And as a result, Boise State attacks that freshman in a pick and roll. Waters long two, strong, fighting the rebound. Now Boise State can tie it with a three with Ledee on the bench. This is the Broncos' best chance. Trying to mount that comeback. Ledee has been unreal tonight. Omar Stanley splits the defenders and gets the two. Timeout called by Dutcher. The better, fired up. The veteran Stanley. Going after Heidi, the freshman. Nice move. Fake up. Go around. Oh, my, Omar Stanley. Big time shot. But another big time player. Shabuzo. Abo. Not a lot of rotation. Doesn't matter. That's a bucket. And then Jace Whiting, the backup guard, making his presence felt. And last but not least, Omar Stanley. A little up and under. They know how to party here in San Diego, but this Aztec crowd on pins and needles here. Boise State storming back to a one-point game. Thanks to Tyson Dagenhardt. That guy knows how to party, but he's not happy with Tyson Dagenhardt here in this second half. Eight points in the second half, and he's let the game come to him. Whether it's offensive rebounds, going to get it, but on the, on the half court, it's been a miscommunicated switch and easy shots. And it's not a coincidence that six of those eight points in this second half come with Jaden Ledee on the bench. See, Dagenhardt's 13 points, three made threes, matches a season high. Boise State has been able to score in bunches. They have 13 points in the last two minutes and 45 seconds. So, Boise State has gotten it within one. They were just down by 10. And it's been this switch to a 1-3-1 one, one zone that's given San Diego State some trouble. Underneath, they're gonna call a foul here. That's hard. Omar Stanley. That, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I didn't love that call because Jane Ledee plays so physical when trying to receive the basketball in the post that what are you supposed to do? You have to embrace some physicality. He called the cylinder rule. That's all well and good. That's two tough players battling in the post. Amazing how tight this matchup has been. They played 74 minutes of basketball against each other, and they're even. It was a one-point game in Boise. It's a one-point game right now here in San Diego. It's a rivalry that has gone for years between these two elite coaches. Leon Rice for Boise State, Brian Dutcher for San Diego State. Proud programs have been the class of the Mountain West. Showing off tonight, Abo for three, short. And Abo got hit on the forearm. On that follow through, no call. Good pass. Butler, dribble drive by everybody to the home. Butler. Lamont Butler, so strong. Trying to find Tegan Hart as Anderson. 17 on the timer here. Back and down Powell. It's rid of it with the help. Roddy Anderson. Anderson towards the hoop. 
goes back out to Stanley. Five seconds. Abo through two. No. Kept alive. And that kills you right there, Trent. I thought that was an excellent defensive possession. You have to finish those when playing boys of state. Anderson up top rattles out. Everywhere on the rim but in. Butler turns on the Jets. And goes back out to Parrish. It's over four and a half minutes to go in this one. It's been a treat here at San Diego State. Mountain West basketball at its finest here on a Friday night, the final week of the season. Butler. Inside Ladee, five seconds. No, Dagan Hart the rebound. Five seconds in the key? Is that what you were saying? Because it seemed like it was that long. <laughs> he had a three in the key called on him earlier. And now the Broncos haven't scored in two and a half minutes. Streaky. Tegan Hart in traffic. We'll get a couple of free throws when we come back as Boise State down by three on the road at San Diego State. Aztecs trying to hold off the stampeding Broncos with 3.56 to go. Max Rice and Tyson Tegan Hart are the heart and soul of Boise State basketball. Max Rice just bang knees with Lamont Butler a few minutes ago, but looks like he's coming back on the floor for Boise State. And what a boost this is for the Broncos. Well, uh, it certainly is. He's just a guy that everybody relies on, especially in the half court against pressure. He banged knees a couple plays ago. You see his right knee. That does not feel good, I can assure you. But what he is, he's your settled down guy in the half court. You have Roddy Anderson out there who's quick, a lightning rod. Can get sped up at times, even though he's been great today. But Max Rice is a guy, he gets the ball and everybody takes a deep breath. The other half of that heart and soul duo is Dagan Hart, who gets that free throw to fall. Dagan Hart up to 14 points in this game. Meanwhile, San Diego State has won 27 in a row when they have led with five minutes to play. That was the case in this game. And this free throw. Keeps San Diego State up two. And Lamont Butler is a coach's dream as a pure point guard. He gets them set up. He's relentless defensively. And he is controlling this ball game. Trammell makes the extra pass to Parrish. Missed the three. But he couldn't get it. He and Stanley were battling down low. Into the corner, that's Abo. Just five points in this game on two of eight shooting. Going to work in the post. On Parrish, has the size advantage and scores. Shibuzo Abo. I think he's one of the more underrated players in this conference. Good size, terrific shooter. And that was just an I'm bigger than you move. Started his career at Texas Tank in the corner. Parrish comes back. Gets it. SDSU up three. Parrish has got to be that guy for San Diego State to space the floor. Oh. Stanley gets hit. They're going to call this on the ground. Parrish, who had a game winner that you see Irvine earlier this year, but how about this back and forth starting with Abo? Well, Shibuzo Abo, 6'7", 223, big time move over the top, and then when the ball moves on the other end, Micah Parrish, if he knocks down this shot with consistency, he changes the dynamic of this Aztecs basketball team. Second three tonight for Parrish. He's got 10. That's Dagenhart down low. Anderson. As Trammell was firing in. Second chance coming. That's a break for Boise. Anderson needed to shoot the first one. A terrific pass. Dagenhart surveys the floor so well. Three seconds for Stanley to the bucket. Gets oh. it in time. And the foul. Oh, more Stanley. 
He was great last game, Trent. Quick spin move away from the double, up and over. Wrong place, wrong time for San Diego State, but big time move for Omar Stanley. Deep in the shot clock as time's expiring. Only one option was to go at Jaden Ledeen. And he did, he scored. And they're gonna go make sure he got it off in time. Again, he was deep in the shot clock. If it goes, he'll have a chance to tie it with less than two minutes to go on the road here at San Diego State. More Mountain West madness. Did he get it off in time? Looks oh, like wow. he did. He sure did. Hey, Trent, this game started slow offensively. Man, has it picked up here in this second half. Both teams finding creases in the defense, taking advantage of mismatch and traps. It's almost like they settled into the game. First half, a lot of turnovers, a lot of poor passes. Second half, they're finding these open lanes and avenues to pass the ball. It's been fun. Student section, they believe they're gonna win. Hey, it's not a game at the B.A. Haas. It's an event, point blank period. All season long, Mountain West basketball has delivered. You could make a claim it's the most exciting conference in the country. Why would it be any different on the final weekend of the regular season? Could be, it is. It is 1A in terms of excitement. Stanley can't tie it. So San Diego State will have a one-point lead, less than two minutes to go. Boise State has won five of the last six against San Diego State. Three of them have been decided by one point, including earlier this year when Boise State got a one-point win. Stanley, a takeaway, gets fouled by Ledee afterwards. And that's going to be in free throws and a one-and-one one coming for Boise State. That's the fourth on Ledee. And what a critical juncture that happens. you got to get Jaden Ledee the ball at this point of the game. And I understand what you're trying to do. Have him hand the ball off on the outside and then get in towards the cup. I'm going to be honest. I think at this point of the game, you get it to him about 15 feet, you let your best player go to work. Free throw missed. Well, San Diego State is in foul trouble. Parrish is four, Butler has four, and Ledee just picked up his four. Just 90 seconds left in this game and counting. A couple of really big missed free throws. Trammell hit on his trip, and now Hill. Have a chance to inbound for San Diego State. And call that one on Rice. In mind too, San Diego State has scored well out of baseline, out of bound sets. Got to get that ball to Jaden Ledee, close to the cup. Right here, hand off or let him go to work. Butler takes it himself and scores. Aztecs up by three. Minute and ten to go. seconds to play. Gut check time in San Diego. Shabuzo. Big time shot in the corner. I think he got fouled. Here's Trammell. All square. 35 seconds left. And a whistle down low with Ledee being held underneath. That's the sixth against Boise State. Their final foul to give. Take a look at a big time shot in the left corner, uh, corner by Shibuzo Abo. He got hit on the wrist, it doesn't matter. My goodness, what a shot to tie this game. You see it right there on the elbow, doesn't matter, the focus is there. Absolute clutch shooting right there for Shibuzo Abo. 
Started his career at Texas Tech, a San Diego native, back in town and making an impression. These San Diego State fans trying to will the Aztecs. As we look at this last foul underneath, let's watch the D middle of your screen as he's going to work underneath with Omar Stanley, or Stanley goes to the ground. If they call this on Ladeen, that's his fifth, and he fouls out of the game. You see the hook there, and then he just throws his hands off, a little bit off balance as Omar Stanley. I, now, did he embellish? Sure. But those two have been battling all game long. And I'm curious to see what the officials call here. And if it's what I think it is, this building's not going to be very happy. Jaden Ledee with four fouls at the moment. If this is number five, that's it. In this game, for one of the best players in America, the best player in the Mountain West Conference, and we're going to get an explanation here with the foul trouble. So they're going to call a common foul on Omar Stanley of Boise State. And Ladee stays in. Thirty-two point eight seconds to go in this one. San Diego State is the second longest home win streak in the country. They've won twenty in a row here at Viejas Arena. Keep in mind too, the Aztecs have scored consistently when inbounding the ball from the baseline. And at times, they've struggled in the half court in general. But out of the baseline, out of bounds, they've done a great job of finding some ways to get to the cup. That man, most notably, Lamont Butler, really good around the rim. If you don't get it to Ladee early, I think Lamont Butler is going to be your rim attack guy right here. For Omar Stanley, that's his fourth. His Butler gets bumped, and that's five on Stanley. Omar Stanley picks up two fouls in two seconds, and that's his night. That's a tough way to go, Trent. You get out, you try to take care of the guy coming off the dribble handoff. Can't have that happen. Omar Stanley has played really well today, attacking the rim, competing on the interior. 10 points, but one of four free throw shooting. He missed some free throws some late. Big ones. Yeah, and, right. and he's a 76% free throw shooter on the season, so that's uncharacteristic. So Lamont Butler. Not a great free throw shooter is Lamont Butler. There's one hole in his game. It's at the foul line. Lamont Butler did not score in the first half. He's at all 11 here in the last 19 and a half minutes. Gets that free throw to go. Big free throw for a senior on senior night. Lamont Butler, the floor general, the leader, a lead by example leader, the heart of Boise State offensively and defensively. Ladee is the star. Butler makes it happen and gets both free throws. Time out on the floor, and we will keep it here with San Diego State up by two thanks to Lamont Butler's clutch free throw shooting. Big time free throws for Lamont Butler, a 54% free throw shooter. And on his biggest day, senior day, Clutches the word. Now, Boise State, here's the good part about having so many good shooters on the floor. As you, as you see San Diego State's tournament resume, they're trying to hang on to this one. There but, is a scenario if San Diego State loses this game, they could not get a double bye and finish sixth in the Mountain West. They are projected to be a five seed in the NCAA tournament. They have no bad losses this year. Three or three quad one wins is maybe what's hurting them. They could certainly use a fourth tonight with B1. Eight losses on the season, all quad one losses. Again, no bad losses for San Diego State. For Boise State, five quad one wins. Their strength of schedule, 
very good. Maybe not as good as San Diego State, but very good. Right now, they're a 10 seed. A win in being Haas would make Boise State a lot for the NCAA tournament. It absolutely would, but this possession coming up here, what a luxury it is to have so many shooters. But for San Diego State, Lamont Butler has been terrific. And it's been mostly attacking the basket out of baseline, out of bounds situations. Just quick curls. And Boise State hasn't had anything for it. But so physically strong at 205 pounds. It's not just Jaden Ledeen who's big and physical. They have a big and physical lead guard in Lamont Butler. Whenever he drives to the rim, guys just bounce off of him. Boise State also can earn a share of a Mountain West regular season championship. They would need Utah State to lose tomorrow, but that is still in play. Two-point game. Broncos down, they have the ball. Each team one timeout remaining, each team in the bonus. Albo just hit a three a moment ago, left that one short. They have to foul. And they foul Butler. Who again? Isn't a great free throw shooter, but did just make two big ones. And I like the set. Cross screen, down screen for Abo to come up to the top. And he didn't believe in that shot when it went up. I think he was waiting on the foul. Never came. Terrific defense by San Diego State. Dagan Hart's four. Butler 54% on the season from the line. San Diego State has won 32 of the last 39 when he scored 10 or more. And tonight, Lamont Butler is 13. Misses. Boise State has life. Each team with a timeout. Will they use it? Anderson to the hoop. Gets oh. the roll. Ties the game. Boise wanted a timeout. They don't get it. In transition, Parrish, the game winner. And we are headed to overtime at Viejas. This game deserved it, didn't it, Trent? Oh, my goodness. What a play by Roddy Anderson. A career night for Roddy Anderson. Back in the same city where he began his collegiate career. Absolute nails getting to the hoop to tie. Absolutely terrific. Nobody on the baseline to stop him. Stays up high, keeps the ball away. What a finish. What a finish of this contest. Free basketball at San Diego. And Leon Rice tried to call timeout to get back and set his defense. I'm going to be honest with you. I like it that Brian Dutcher didn't try to set up his offense. You get a clean look from Micah Parrish, who's made some shots here in the second half. That's about as good as it's going to get. We're going to take a timeout, take a breath, reset, overtime. More Mountain West hoops when we come back. We need five more minutes to sort this one out. 72-72 overtime here at Viejas. Mountain West Hoots, final weekend of the regular season, final game of the regular season for San Diego State and Boise State. About over the last 80 minutes, only one point difference between these two programs. Boise State won the opener by one up in Boise. San Diego State this year, Two and one in overtime, five and three under Brian Dutcher, though. This team is 26 and four in the last 30 overtime games. You can thank Steve Fisher for plenty of those. 72 72. Opening tip, one by Boise State. Martin trying to go high low to Dagan Hart. That's a turnover. And Dagan Hart th thought that ball was tipped, it was not tipped at all. That was just a poor pass. And if you're digging hard, you got to go up and try to get that one. I like that set. The baseline was completely open. And now you see Boise State going back to that extended 1-3-1 one, one pressure that gave the Aztecs problems in the second half. This is the first overtime game in Conference of Viejas in two years. No look. Cross-court pass. Dangerous. Tremel saves it. Deep in the shot clock. Five seconds. Tremel. Thought he was getting a whistle. Powell can't get the pass through. Not a great offensive trip there for the Aztecs. No, it's sloppy passing in, in Parrish. There's no look. There cannot be no look cross court passes against a zone. How you beat a zone is crisp passes, no lobs, and then 
you catch these defenses late in rotation, you're going to be able to find shots. Can't have those situations. For Boise State, keep in mind, Omar Stanley is fouled out. Tyson Dagenhart right now playing with four. Those are the two biggest threats with Cam Martin to try to slow down Jane Ladeo is for himself. Ronnie Anderson misses the three. Second chance coming. Max Rice. No. Saved by Dagenhart. You have to finish possessions against Boise State. Such a good rebounding team are the Broncos. Anderson to the hoop. Can't get it. Cam Martin can. You were a little worried if you were a Boise State fan with Omar Stanley with five fouls not able to play. Cam Martin has made his imprint on this basketball game attacking the offensive glass. In the corner, Trammell. No. Tipped alive. Ladeen. No whistle. Trent, I think since about the eight-minute mark in the second half, Ladee is not playing strong enough right now. He's looking for calls. First half, he was going up through that contact. Shibuzo Abo to the hoop. Stuffed by Powell. Saved out to Martin for three. Missed everything. Good pass. Good luck for Parrish. Missed it strong. Just one field goal so far here in overtime, and we're past the midway point. And that's the weakness of this San Diego State team. 11th in the league, dead last in three-point shooting at just over 30%. Have to find ways to knock down shots in a close one. Rice off the corner. Abo now. Six seconds. Martin, he doesn't want the ball there. Neither does Max Rice, who heaves from midcourt oh! and gets it! <laughs> Max Rice, are you kidding me? It doesn't need to make sense. Oh my gosh! To put them up five in overtime. Are you kidding me? Leon Rice talked with us about this before the game, that Max is the player that isn't worried about his stats. He's worried about getting a win, putting it up in any situation. A prayer answered. My word, Cam Martin first. Give them a two-point lead on offensive rebound. And at the end of the clock, you have to get a shot up. My goodness. They call that range. <laughs> Unbelievable. You can look at Max Rice's stats. Right foot on the S. Look at this. You've got to be kidding me. Tell the crowd to hush. You can poke holes. You can look at areas where Rice has <laughs> struggled. He did early. Max Rice is a winner. That is a winning play right there. And he made that happen. Let's not forget, he also banged knees earlier in the game, playing through a lot of pain right now. Boise stayed up by five inside of two minutes to go. This 1-3-1 has flummoxed the Aztec offense. Butler on the right side. Drives in. In the corner, three seconds to the hoop. Parrish, no. Ladee offensive rebound on the ground, and a one and one is coming for San Diego State. A 7-0 run at the biggest portion of this game. Holy cow. San Diego State has still not scored in overtime. Boise State had the Roddy Anderson bucket to force the extra period. And it's been five points. Martin with the tip in, and then Max Rice from midcourt at the buzzer. Offensive rebound, Parrish. That puts the Aztecs on the board. Back to a one possession game. Here comes Viejas. Rice gets hit by Butler out of bounds. It's going to stay Boise State ball. You're trying to finish a game on the road up five, and these things cannot happen. That was a terrific job 
by Saunders pushing his guy over. That's a set play call off of a free throw. One guy goes over, the other guy wedges him in, and Parrish is able to come around and get that rebound and finish. Boise State calls a timeout here, so each team with one remaining 62 seconds to go here in overtime, and Boise State still fighting for a chance to have at least a share of a Mountain West championship. They would need Utah State to lose to New Mexico tomorrow at home. Meanwhile, San Diego State trying to make sure that they avoid the sixth seed in the Mountain West because the top five get a double bye. Here's the foul situation. Omar Stanley fouled out in regulation. Dagan Hart's got four. Martin with three. Then for San Diego State, Ladie has been playing for a long time with four, as has Parrish, as has Butler. As the Aztecs have been handcuffed, yet a very physical game that is coming down to the wire once again here in this wild conference. 52 incredibly physical squads. There's been big shots. There's been physical play. There's been bodies hitting the floor. This game has not left you wanting more. Everything you could ask for and some tonight here in San Diego. Boise State up three. Final minute. Rice over Ladee, short. Martin keeps it alive and saves it to Rice. Cam Martin on the offensive glass has been spectacular. Get it to your winner at the end of the game. Albo in the corner for three. Rebound Saunders. Less than a second differential between the shot clock and the game clock here. Each team has a timeout, and Brian Dutcher will use it with 25.4 seconds to go. And you need a three at this point. I, you know what? I feel like as a color commentator, Trent, I have to say that yes. you don't necessarily need a three. But you take the first best look, and if a three just happens to be that shot, I'd go ahead and take it. Now, that all being said, not the best three-point shooting team. Worst in the Mountain West but make sure you attack the offensive glass. Worth noting the free throw shooting in this game. Boise State at 59%, San Diego State at just 65%. So there's still plenty of time for more chaos tonight here in San Diego. I love chaos. I'd order it every time. It wouldn't be March without it. And sleep is overrated. <laughs> It's already Saturday morning on the East Coast. <laughs> As Coach Leon Rice comes over here, it just shakes his head. Boise State trying to protect a three-point lead here on the road at San Diego State. Lamont Butler's the inbounder for the Aztecs. Here's the thing. The question is, do you foul? I say no. They don't shoot it well enough. Tramiel does shoot the three and hits the three. And I couldn't be more wrong. What a shot, Darian Trammell. We'll see if Boise holds for the last look. They do have a timeout. Final 10 seconds. Roddy Anderson sent the game to overtime. Anderson, tough look. No. Martin offensive rebound. Gets hit going up. And Martin's going to the line. What a shot to tie it. A swing action coming around, and Darian Trammell, big time shot. And then Cam Martin has four rebounds on the day. Trent, all four are on the offensive end of the floor. And that's five right there. Jaden Ledee. Wow. Regardless of what happens at the strike here for Cam Martin. San Diego State will be without Ladee, their best player, a superstar in the Mountain West. 21 and 6 tonight. No timeouts left either for San Diego State. You have to make a play quickly, 1.7 seconds. This is what makes Boise so difficult. 
first in the Mountain West in offensive boards. Wow. Cam Martin with nine points tonight after scoring 11 total in the previous five games. Boise State up one. Boise State up two. 1.7 seconds. Leon Rice trying to decide to call a timeout or not. He won't. Butler the inbound. Gets it to Bird. Trammell the heave. Cam Martin the slot to save it. And the Broncos go on the road and take down San Diego State. On senior night, nonetheless. What a play. And Cam Martin saves the day. That young man didn't have the loudest stats, but he had arguably the most important four offensive boards to change the trajectory of this game. Seven years of college basketball, Cam Martin has played. This may be one of his final games and had the night of his life. They're on the road at San Diego State to end their 20-game home win streak, the first home loss for San Diego State all year. Max Rice's mid-court heave deep in the shot clock, an incredible moment in this game that has had plenty as Boise State wins. Here's the final look. Cam Martin just being aware of where the ball's at. <laughs> My gosh. I, I mean, an excellent set, and Cam Martin sniffs it out. Trent. This was as fun a game to call as I've been to all year, and why not? It being the last regular season game for us both. 79-77, Boise State takes down San Diego State to spoil the party at Viejas. As we look at the standings in the Mountain West Conference, Boise State now with a Utah State loss tomorrow could have a share of West crown that has been so so good a sixth quad one win for Boise State and in all likelihood punch their ticket to the NCAA tournament absolutely and I think it slides them up from DeCourcy's 10th seed to air that eight or nine conversation this was a massive win a lot of talent on the floor what a fun game to be here with you Trent an incredible night here in San Diego Boise State with the upset as they needed overtime to do it but came up much 79-77 the final. For my partner, Terrence Oglesby, and our entire FS1 crew, my name is Trent Rush, wishing you a good night from San Diego, where Boise State steals the night, an overtime winner by two.